Hey everybody, have you ever tested chalk zero before to see if it affected your blood glucose or ketones? Yeah, me neither. But today is the day I'm going to find out if these chalk zero peppermint bark is affecting my weight loss game. So let's dive into this. Aren't these just the cutest little packages? So here's our Chalk Zero in this seasonal peppermint. I am um, testing this because it is seasonal. So let's just go ahead and look at these macros. They're six servings and they're one ounce a piece. So um, that's 100 and, 120 calories and that is just one, just one of these. But you can see they're a pretty good size. So we're looking at fat at 10 grams and the protein at one. So let's look at these carbs. They are 15 grams of carbs, but 13 dietary fiber, which now brings us down to just two net carbs per peppermint bark. So let's get started with this blood glucose and ketone and see what they do to me. So today is the day I'm going to be testing my blood glucose and ketones with my Keto Mojo. I'm really afraid that the Chalk Zero Peppermint Bark is affecting my weight loss gain. So we're going to test those two factors today. So this is what we're doing. First, you're going to wash your hands. you got to have clean fingers. I've got clean 10 digits here to poke from. What we're going to do is we're going to get a baseline. So I'm going to test my blood glucose and my ketones before I eat it. That's going to be my baseline. After I get done eating this, this is one serving, I am going to test my blood glucose at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or one hour, and then again at the two-hour mark. Also at the two-hour mark, I'm going to retest my ketones to see if it affects my ketones in that amount of time. And this is how I'm going to come to the conclusion if this is a good product that I can keep in my diet or not. So uh, let's get started with the first box. All right, so let's get started with our blood glucose. I've also got a paper here. I'm going to be tracking this all on. Put my finger. So it's 86. I go ahead and get my ketone reading. All right. This takes just a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm at a point. If you watch my weekly update, you'll know that I've been struggling. So, all right. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I've already opened it. it. I dropped it. So now it's broken. But if one of these is a whole serving. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. Mm. It's darker chocolate. And it tastes so good. Like it's got little peppermint candies in here. But it's like not overwhelming and it's so delicious. If I can't keep this in my diet, I'm gonna be so sad. And I'm already sad that it's just seasonal. Alright, so it's 1.22. This is the only thing that I've ate today. The only thing I'll be having with it is my bottle of water and it's salted. That will not affect these readings whatsoever. So I will be back in 30 minutes. Ah, 
time. So I'm just one minute late. So let's go ahead and take this blood glucose test and see if it has spiked my sugar or not. Nine. Well, that's encouraging. It was 86 at the baseline. We're 30 minutes in and it's at 79. So we'll see what it looks like at the hour mark. Um, it may not affect me at all. And it may be one of those products that just affects the ketones. So we'll find out. We'll be back in 30 more minutes. That's our 60 minute mark or our one hour mark. We're back and it is 2.22. We're at the one hour mark. So let's go ahead and get this next poke started. So, huh, interesting. My baseline was 86, and at 30 minutes it went down to 79, and now it's up to 91. Um, I guess we'll see what happens at the hour, or the two hour mark, and see if I'm back down to baseline or not. That's, um, five points higher than my baseline so technically it's not that bad but it is a pretty big spike it's 11 points from my lowest number at a half an hour so that's really weird but uh, we'll be back at the two hour mark and we'll see if it's knocked me out of ketosis or if I'm better or the same all right be back We are at the two hour mark and I couldn't be more excited because I'm getting really hungry. So let me start out with the blood glucose and see if we went down. You can hear my dog, sorry. Oops. final numbers here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get this ketone one done. This takes longer. Sorry about that, lots of noise going on, lots of puppers, but anyway. So let's go ahead and recap my numbers here. Talk about the pupper here. Um, my baseline for the blood glucose was 86, and my, blood, and my ketones were 0.4. So at the 30 minute mark, my uh, blood glucose actually goes down to 79. And then at the one hour mark, it goes back up to, or it goes up to 91, and now at the two hour mark, it is 89. That's not my lowest. It wasn't as low as my baseline, but at least it's coming down. So obviously, there is an effect with the chalk zero, but it's not like a major one. It's not something that I'm worried about that if I eat, that it's really going to affect me too much. Now, as far as my ketones, it didn't kick me out of ketosis either. My ketones are actually went up. I'm fasting. Um, and it's the only thing I've ate, so it's gone up 2.6, so that's up 2 points. So, yeah, I'm really happy with these results here. And I now know uh, that I will not have any problems continuing to consume Chalk Zero, especially the peppermint um, bark. So, um, 
like I said before, the only way you're going to know if you can eat some of these keto products is to actually test them out on yourself because what works for one person may not work for someone else. So it's the only way you going to know if it can work for you. So if you want to order these or you have some place you can go buy them, go out and buy them and see how they affect you. Hopefully they don't affect you either. Until next time, have a great day.